Back at the Kessler Athletic Center with winning coach Reggie Witherspoon. And coach, uh, this one maybe didn't follow us. Some of the the scripts of the earlier season where it was Isaiah Reese, Jermaine Crumpton leading the way early on offensively. You found some different answers there in the first half. Yeah, I think the first answer was what we were able to do defensively, which was keep them from going on runs of making threes and try to make it difficult for them. We weren't as, as good at shooting the three as, as we have been, but what was nice is we can see that we can win in another way. And uh, I thought for the most part, we took care of the basketball and played pretty good defense. You know, you got some contributions, though, tonight from some different kind of guys. Selvin and Planicic gets into the starting lineup. Talk about his performance. You know, he has been improving, you know, by gradual steps. He gave us some good minutes when we were out in California. And we, it was our hope that he could extend the depth across our front line by us starting him in the game. And then, I, you know, I, I thought that at around the eight-minute mark of both halves, we needed to be able to get some people out and back in to the game to extend our, our, our focus a little bit. And then Malik Johnson, a, a guy, again, who doesn't always look to score, but had a good scoring night, big game on the defensive glass as well. And the sophomore just continues to be a, a floor leader for you. He does, and I think his, his voice defensively was really crucial for us, particularly in transition situations. We took a good long look at what they like to do when they're very good in those situations. And, you know, the guy that he matched up on for a lot of the night was their leading scorer, and we wanted to really hold them in check. So I thought he did. He had a very good game. Coach, thanks, and congratulations. Thank you, Jay. Reggie Witherspoon, head coach for Kenesha's College. Back over to Richard. Hey, thanks, Jay. Yeah, and, and speaking of Malik there, he's five for five and had a nice line there. But really the thing that this came down to as we see the stats here is, is the Griffs did a really nice job on that three-point ball, and also they inverted the uh, turnover thing. So in, and the key stat down there, fewest points allowed for Kinesis this season. you got to win it on the defensive end, especially when Reese and Crumpton are a little bit off, as we were talking about there. So nice job for the Griffs, nice win here. And Malik Johnson is going to be our Canisius College Pepsi player of the game. Like you said, he had the perfect line out there. Five for five, had two turnovers, seven rebounds, 13 points for Malik Johnson in 31 minutes. And, of course, a couple of hockey assists as well. Yes, he did. And, uh, and, and Reggie alluded to he, he, he had to guard their top scorer there and did a nice job there. It's all about concentration with him. Made one or two bad decisions, but all in all, very good line for him. And there's a nice back cut, nice finish in it. If I'm not mistaken, that was a shot clock potential violation so nice game for him so for Canisius uh, showing us maybe uh, something a little different here tonight that they can clamp down defensively I'm not surprised Reggie talked about defense because these kids listen to these broadcasts and he's sending a message you know we got to play better defense we got to concentrate you know Reese had a bad night shooting Crumpton had a bad night but they also had bad nights in my mind defensively breaking down a little bit certainly the Elon uh, best players didn't all show up tonight and, you know, that's going to happen so good good win for the Griffs I mean uh, you anytime you lose three in a row you never think you're going to get your next W that's a nice win especially you know transitioning here into the Mac play. Canisius came into the game averaging giving up 71 points per game they surrender 51 tonight and come away with the win to improve to five and seven three and one here at the Kessler Center Elon now seven and five on the year they're one and five away from home. So for Richard Walsh, I'm Jay Moran saying so long from the Kessel Athletic Center where the final score was Kenesha 67, Elon 51. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live on the ESPN app or to watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks. Log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.